So we've been reminded of solving quadratics in disguise. We're going to jump straight in to look at these three examples. So let's start with number one. 3 to the 2x take away 4 times 3 to the x plus 3 is equal to 0. So I'm going to go straight into factorising this. We know that 3 to the 2x can be written as 3 to the x all squared. And so we can factorise this to being 3 to the x times 3 to the x. OK. Um, we've got a plus 3 and a minus 4. So we're going to have a minus 3 and a minus 1. OK. So then we have 3 to the x must be equal to 3 or 3 to the x must be equal to 1. And so either x is 1 or x must be 0. OK? And those are the two solutions for that quadratic equation. So let's have a look at the second one. We've got 5 to the 2x take away 6 times 5 to the x plus 8 is equal to 0. So we're going to have 5 to the x and 5 to the x. Two numbers that multiply together make 8, but add together to make minus 6 would be um, minus 4 and minus 2. So either 5 to the x is equal to 4 or 5 to the x is equal to 2. Now, in both these cases, they are exponential equations. They don't have simple answers, so we must write them in I. We can either log both sides and work it through that way, or we can write them directly into logarithmic form. So from this exponential form, x must be equal to log base 5 of 4, or x is equal to log base 5 of 2. Now, these are the exact answers. You can get decimal equivalents for them on your calculator log base 5 of 4, so that's 0 0.861 to three decimal places, and log base 5 of 2 is 0 0.431 to three decimal places. Okay, so those would be the two solutions for number two. Right, let's have a look at the third one. 2 to the 2x plus 3 times 2 to the x take away 10 is equal to 0. So in this case, we've got 2 to the x times 2 to the x. Two numbers that multiply together make minus 10, but add together make 3 would be uh, plus 5 and minus 2. So either... 2 to the x must be equal to minus 5, or 2 to the x is equal to 2. Now, 2 to the x is equal to minus 5 actually has no solutions. Now, this all harks back to the fact of what 2 to the x looks like. Now, 2 to the x looks like this. The curve never crosses the x-axis, and so can never be negative. Minus 5 is down here, so this curve will never cross that line. And so there are no solutions to that equation. You can't write, rewrite this in logarithmic form and then think, right, well, x is going to be log base 2 of minus 5. You can't find the logarithm of a negative number. OK, so this if you type that into your calculator, we'll give you a math error. However, we do have a solution coming from the right-hand equation. So x would be equal to 1. And x is 1 is the only solution to question number 3.